You know, Edgar often talks about the music, uh, in, I mean, the fight scenes in the music as akin to m songs in musicals, that they come at moments of heightened emotion. Um, but, uh, I mean, I think that it is almost a musical, but I sort of think of it um, as this hybrid between the musical, between an action, between a comedy, romantic comedy. I mean, it's got it all in there. A lot of things in there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, Brandon, the, mu the uh, fight scenes are like a big musical production, especially your scenes. Yeah, my, my, I only fight with music. Uh, <laughs> I, I really don't throw any punches or have physical contact with, M with Michael Cera. Uh, it's just through my bass playing. And I, my character is also a, a, a ninth level vegan, so he has the power of telekinesis. Oh, um, and yeah. he kind of uh, powers that through the bass guitar anyway in a bass duel with him. And the effects they do on your eyes are yeah. incredible. It was shocking to me because I didn't realize that was going to happen. Me so neither. I saw the first time a I saw trailer it. and I was like, whoa, what's with my eyes? <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so actually I'm sitting here with two of Ramona's, Scott uh, Pilgrim's new love, exits. Right. Yes, exactly. You're X3 yes. and X1. Number one, number yeah. Number one, Matthew. Right? Matthew Patel, exactly. And, and the rest of your acting career, you'll probably never make another entrance like you did in this movie. <laughs> You're telling me. I think in the next rest of my acting career, I probably won't get to do a lot of things that I got to do in this movie, I'm unless I'm in the Michael Jackson biopic, which is looking <laughs> a little doubtful. But uh, um, no, I mean, it's great because both Brandon and I have the opportunity to play music in the movie and I sing a song and he plays the bass and so that right. was really fun. Don't give too much away, but what is an, an X, uh, an evil X? Well, there's been uh, a, a league created of evil mm. Xs uh, to, uh, to that are, are people that used to date Ramona. Um, and because she uh, spurned them in such a way, I guess, or they, her love was so great that they feel a need to get back uh, at her um, they try to smite anyone she dates after them. <laughs> Poor Michael, right? Yeah. Exactly. I really enjoyed, and I'm sure you have too, the comic book graphics and the video game effects. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous. I, yeah. I think I think this movie, more than any other movie, uh, Edgar Wright has taken um, has taken the opportunity to really infuse um, the comic book medium, the, the panels, the paneling, the the uh, animation style uh, and infuse that into film uh, to great effect, I think. And then, then with the video game um, stuff that's in there from that's with the comic, uh, it just adds another level of, of pop culture fun uh, and, and humor in, in, in a lot of places. Yeah, it's just totally fun. It is. I think that um, also, you know, video games and comic books are something that allow you to escape into another world in the same way that movies do. And by combining a lot of the visual and acoustic elements from video games um, and some of the visuals from comic books, it allows the audience to connect in a way that they would when they were having an interactive gaming experience. And I'm out of time, but I just want to say, even with all that, it's still a little bit character driven, and these characters are relatable. Yeah, yeah I think that the, at the backbone, it's a great love story, yeah. and, and it's also about uh, learning self-respect and, and standing up for yourself and you know and, and speaking the truth that kind of uh, at the end is what we, we, we kind of figure out uh, and um, without all of that the story wouldn't work the amazing effects the, the fights the music it, it wouldn't have a payoff if the story didn't play as well as it does